Yes, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning to all yes, of you. Yes, sir. Good morning, so sir. Good morning, sir. Start with the next lecture of mm -hmm. unit fifth. Mm -hmm. Yesterday we have started the new unit that is the robotics, and uh, yesterday already we have discussed the introductory part, introductory part, and the definition of the robotics historical points, also the uses and the application of the robotics. So today our two important points we will discuss in this topic. First is the fundamental problems in the robotics and uh, path planning for the robot. Now, uh, if you see the uh, in case of the human being also, uh, when the human being has to go from one particular uh, location to the another location, or if the human being has to change his position then he has to find out the certain path certain way uh, to go from one particular uh, position to the another position okay now similar is the thing for the robot also okay and uh, accordingly the robot uh, can be referred by the certain names okay now uh, when the robot when the robot is uh, uh, present at certain point okay when the robot is at, present at certain point then at that particular point okay robot has to determine its position position in the sense where he is actually present okay and after determining its position, then only the robot can operate or robot can perform the certain activity. Okay. And so when the robot is uh, doing such, such kind of things, okay, uh, he is determining its position and try to operate from that particular point. Okay. Then in that case, that particular robot is being considered as a point robot. Okay. Why it is being considered as a point robot? Because of its single point operating feature in the specific environments. In the specific environment, in the sense, in the specific location or the area. And that is the reason here I have mentioned the abstraction, abstraction of the autonomous robot in simple form is called as a point robot because of its single point operating feature in the specific environment. Now, what do you mean by the autonomous robot? Yes, autonomous robot in the sense the that particular kind of robot where the user is not interfering with that robot. User is not interfering with that robot in the sense robot is operating by themselves. Okay, there is a no need for the human to uh, interfere with that robot. Okay. So that particular robot is called as what the autonomous robot. Okay. And that autonomous robot being also referred as here, you can see here I have mentioned the point robot. Why it is being referred as a point robot? Because it is operating from certain particular point. He has to determine its position and then only he can uh, perform certain kind of activity. That is the reason that robot in the situation where it is operating from certain point that kind of robot is mentioned as a point robot okay and when he is operating in certain environment now that particular uh, environment or the position for example this position now this particular position as i have mentioned here the uh, specific environment so that is being represented with the help of some cartesian plane okay what do you mean by the cartesian plane Cartesian play in the in the sense this position is being represented with the help of some x and y axis. What? X and y axis. So that Cartesian plane is nothing but x and y axis. Okay. So in this way, the robot position is being represented with the help of the 
Cartesian plane that is in the form of the x y x and y axis. And the same thing I have shown here uh, in this formalism. It is possible to represent the robot as a point, as you can see here, x comma y belongs to the R. Now here R stands for the radius, radius in which that robot is present. Okay. So in this way, the robot's position can be represented in certain environment. Okay, with the help of the Cartesian plane. And so this plane uh, is nothing but, as I said, it is the domain or the area where that robot is actually operating. So that is from this we can say the state of the robot or position of the robot is explained in detail by the this uh, x and y axis point. And this this particular representation is called as a pose in case of the robot this this is called as what as a pose or the configuration of the robot okay now when when this robot when this robot will move from this particular point to some other point for example this point tell me whether robots configuration will change or not Yes, if robot is present at this configuration and it moves from this point to the next other point, then tell me its configuration will remain same or it will get changed. Yes. Change. Definitely the configuration of that robot or position of that robot or you can you can see here so that pose of the robot will get changed change the human being also move from one location to the another location its location its uh, location parameters also get changed understood so the group of the poses or the configuration of the robot which are valid are also being referred as the free space free space the group of the position which are valid are considered as a free space of the robot there can be a, some spaces which may be considered as a invalid and some spaces may not be occupied by the robot now what do you mean by the free space the group group, group of the poses which are valid are considered as a free space now how can we describe the free space means what here free space i have represented it as a c underscore free so the positions of the the valid positions are which positions which are being referred here as a free spaces now what do you mean by the free spaces yes free spaces are considered as a valid positions in case of the robots so what do you mean by the free space suppose can't hear you yes repeat so free space manje predefined spaces no let me tell you for example now in case of if you apply the same uh, if you want to uh, in case of the human being also suppose you are walking you are walking in certain area okay when you are walking there you find there you find there you find when you are walking there you find uh, okay there you find when you are walking on the for example you are walking uh, alongside the road and you find that next to you there is a, some obstacle what there is some obstacle obstacle in the sense it, it can be a, anything it can be a, any car or a bus or anything that can be present on your way so this particular area is this area we can call it as a free space this area yes Okay, understand the situation. What I am saying. Suppose you are walking, okay, in certain area, 
and on your walking way there is a some car present okay car or anything the certain obstacle is there okay a big stone can be there on your way and you have to reach at this position now this particular this is your this is the obstacle on your way now is it the free space for you no sir no, no. no. understood so free space is nothing but what the space where there is a no obstacle is present understood so in case of the robot also is the same thing if the robot is moving from certain one particular position to the another position and if there is a certain obstacle present in his way then that particular area is not considered as a free space okay if there is a nothing present on his way then that every area is considered as a free space and that is the reason here you i have mentioned the position which are valid valid positions are which only which are considered as a free whatever space. the free space okay if the free space is not there then we cannot say that particular position uh, as a valid position for the robot so there can be a valid position invalid okay and uh there can be a position occupied by the robot position not occupied by the robot etc etc so here i have mentioned the free space configuration of the robot free space of the uh, robot is simply consist of the area which is not occupied by the any kind of obstacle that particular space is considered as a free space for the robot okay so any configuration within this space is also considered the if the space is free that configuration is also considered as a free configuration in case of the robot okay so based on uh, based on all these uh, discussion and one more thing you should keep in mind the space which is occupied by the robot is represented like this uh, with simple representation the space which is occupied by the robot what is this r minus c free r is what r stands for here what space which is occupied by the robot is represented as like this means what radius radius minus c free so whatever the if you want to know the space uh, if you want to represent the space which is occupied by the robot so it is being represented like this r minus c free c free is nothing but the free space so from whatever the discussion that we have done up till now uh from that the different question arises or the different problems raise regarding the particular robot now as i said when the robot is uh, present at certain point position and doing some activity to that robot what we are calling point robot correct yes yes sir but when robot will start moving from one position to the another position can we call it as also the mobile robot yes sir okay so that is a mobile robot so if you consider the robot which is moving from one location to the another location regarding that different uh, question arises or the problem arises which has to be solved so that robot can able to move from one location or one position to the another position okay now what are that question that can be arise from the discussion that we have done in case of that first question is what can we relocate the robot from one configuration to the other while remaining within a c free means what what is this question can we relocate the robot from one configuration to the other while remaining within a c free yes yes sir what is the meaning of this i am asking
yes what is the meaning of first question change position of robot तो क्या हम रोबोट को एक पॉइंट से स्पेस दूसरे दूसरे पॉइंट पे ले जा सकते हैं ओके okay, एक पोजीशन से दूसरे पोजीशन पर ले जा सकते हैं जो कि दूसरी पोजीशन भी क्या हो फ्री हो इज इट पॉसिबल ओके सो दिस इज द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आर आई जेस इफ इट इज पॉसिबल देन हाउ ओके सेकंड क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो आर आई जेस इफ रोबोट नोज the where abouts regarding the its c free then what is the way for robot to determine it tell me what what do you mean by this if the robot knows the where abouts regarding its c free then what is the way for the robot to determine it hmm if the robot knows the where abouts regarding it c free then what is the way for the robot to determine it agar agar robot ko pata hai ki wo kaun se kaun se area mein hai kaun se location par hai aur kaun se free space mein wo present hai agar usko agar robot ko pata hai to kaise pata hota hai wo robot ko how the robot determine that where actually he is present in which free space he is where about in the sense where actually the robot is present so that is the reason here my question arises what if the robot knows the where about where about in the sense where actually the robot is present so if the robot knows the where actually he is present regarding its c free regarding its free position uh, in the free space where robot is present then what is the way for robot to determine robot वो कैसे डिटरमाइन करता है कि वो कौन से फ्री स्पेस में अवेलेबल है कौन से कॉन्फ़िगरेशन में वो अवेलेबल है ये रोबोट कैसे पता करता है दैट इज आल्सो द अनदर क्वेश्चन अराइजेस देन थर्ड व्हाट इज द वे फॉर द रोबोट टू डिटरमाइन इट्स पोज एंड द सी फ्री इफ इट डज नॉट नो इफ इट इज डज नॉट हैव द नॉलेज ऑफ बोथ सो इट्स द सेम काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन लाइक द फर्स्ट सेकंड रोबोट हाउ द रोबोट डिटरमाइन इट्स पोजीशन it's free space if he don't know about both the things okay it's position as well as it's uh, free space so what is the difference between the position and the free space or both the same thing yes what is the difference between the pose and the c free is there any difference between the pose and the c3 yes what is so pose means to atta ja thikani ubha hai ti position ani c3 manje to jasa move karnare ti free space without obstacle hmm. Hmm. yes correct so the actual position and uh, whether it is a whether uh, when you try to move uh, whether that position is the free or is there any kind of obstacle etc mm -hmm. so how the robot determine all these things that is also the so these are the different question arise if you think about the mobile robot understood and what we have to do we are going to find the answer to this question in the further section of this unit how the robot determine its position how the robot move from one point to the another point how he, how the how he can handle if the obstacle is present in his way etc etc so these are the things that we are trying to find out the question being asked on the note on the fundamental problems in the robotics so this kind of things you can explain in that case regarding the fundamental problems or the question that can be uh, raised regarding the mobile robot when you try to move from the one point to the another point or from one configuration to the another configuration so the next important uh, topic that is nothing but the path planning for the robot on which the eight mark question being asked number of times path planning for the robot and in this uh, topic we are going to discuss one 
algorithm also using which the path planning for the robot can be done okay so here we have given some uh, initial configuration and from that initial configuration the robot has to move to the uh, some destination point okay or to the uh, target configuration okay so here you can see uh, starting configuration for the robot is given you can see the starting configuration for the robot is given as which is being uh, represented here as a s equal to a comma b this is the point can you able to see this yes sir so starting configuration for the robot is given as this point which is being represented here as a, a comma b and we want to ship a robot want to go to the another configuration so here this is the starting and robot want to go to the another configuration this is t configuration means to the another point which is being represented as a t and uh, its uh, configuration is represented as a c comma d okay so you know to plan the path from s point or s configuration to the t configuration we have to decide the path okay uh, which join this s and t and uh, accordingly the robot has to move from the s to t so uh, you can see uh, the starting point as the s and the end as the t so if if robot want to move from this starting point s to the t okay so what is the necessary thing is there if robot want to move from this point s to the t so first necessary thing is what this this particular uh, point s as well as the point t they must be in the free space this is the first necessary yes or no yes sir yes sir yes and uh, there must be a existence of path त्यांच्या मध्ये काय पाथ असला पाहिजे पाथ शुड बी द एक्झिस्ट बिटवीन दीज टू पॉइंट देन ऑन देनली देन ऑन देन इट इज पॉसिबल फॉर द रोबोट टू मूव्ह फ्रॉम दिस एस पॉइंट टू द टी पॉइंट सो वॉट वी हॅव टू डू वॉट वी हॅव टू डिटरमाइन वी हॅव टू डिटरमाइन वेदर द एक्झिस्टन्स ऑफ पाथ इज देअर फ्रॉम द पॉइंट एस टू द टी अँड इफ इट इज एक्झिस्टिंग देन हाऊ द रोबोट विल मूव्ह फ्रॉम पॉइंट एस टू द पॉइंट टी so uh, how how it can be done only way to do it for the robot is nothing but doing the searching yes or no so only yes, do the searching in this particular continuous space for the existence for the continuous path so robot can move from this point s to the t only through the searching searching what searching whatever the space is there available and so that through the searching uh, it can reach to the point t so in order to do this kind of searching how the searching will get done etc etc uh, uh, we have uh, the particular uh, algorithm is there okay there are the various algorithms are there uh, for path planning in case of the robot but uh, just one out of that we are going to discuss here okay uh which will give us the solution for path planning regarding the robot and that algorithm is here you can see being refer it as a, here as a bug to algorithm what bug to algorithm okay now let's start how we can reach from this particular point s to the t okay and this all the steps are shown in this figure you can see okay now consider as we have consider the current position of the robot current position of the robot as this s which is being represented as a configuration a comma b here also i have mentioned the current position of the robot is at s and we want to move it, move it to the t means robot want to move to the point t or area t and uh, you can see uh if there is a existence of direct path that is a straight line okay if there is a now what is the easiest way for the robot to follow the straight line path correct 
like this you can see this yes, is a straight line path but uh, can you tell me is it possible that every time robot will get the straight line path no sir no so this is the what we can say the uh, ideal ideal uh, solution for the robot he having the straight line path if the straight line path is available now what do you mean this how when the straight line path can be available for the robot when it is possible yes when the straight when line there path is free space when there is a free space in the sense when there is a no obstacle available between that particular starting position and the uh, starting location and the target location understood but it is not possible that uh, every time robot will find that kind of ideal situation where there is a no obstacle between there uh, between his way or, or between his path okay and so if the if the path of the robot is obstructed obstructed in the sense if in the if in the path of the robot there is a obstacle then it is necessary for the robot to go through by circumnavigating that particular obstacle or the object until he encounter the particular straight line okay sir what do you mean by the circumnavigation yes this word yes circumnavigation means what hmm this is the combination of two word circumference plus navigation yes circumnavigation round round rounded ki tya jar jar robot cha path madhe kuthe tari obstacle ala here obstacle in the object here i am mentioning tar tya purna tya obstacle la cover karun robot has to move Until he encounter the straight line, until he find the straight line. Okay, until he find the straight line, manja kai. So robot is also having their sensors, etc. Along with that. So using that, as I said, you can see the robot already know what robot already know. Which things robot knows? Free space. First, that he knows his source for location. Correct. Yes. And second thing he knows is what? Ki thala jai sai kuda. he know the target configuration so using this two point using this two configuration he can make the straight line yes or no ki ha tacha ideal path ahe am i right or not yes sir he can make this straight line using this sensor and all these things okay so that is the reason i have mentioned here if the path is obstructed then it is necessary for robot to go through by circumnavigating that object or obstacle until the robot encounter the straight line okay so let's try to uh, apply it in the example so consider there is a obstacle p consider there is a obstacle p now from here our robot will start moving correct okay so the, the dash line path you can see the two paths in this diagram the dash line this is the dash line path okay straight line and another is the solid line so solid line path is being uh, created by the robot itself okay we'll see that so consider there is a obstacle now robot start moving here can you able to see this properly yes okay so robot yes, starting from here then it goes to this point ata he je tumhi bagta hai he these things you are observing this is the obstacle ata obstacle manje tumhi kai manat dagad bana kai whatever thing you can uh, imagine robot start moving from this and when he go to this point he encounter the obstacle we call it as a p okay yes he start moving from yes. this and when he start moving at some point he find there is a obstacle okay now what the robot should do when you when he encounter the obstacle in his way so then robot should go around the obstacle unless it is able to continue to move to the goal position t along the line st line st 
okay this is the line st dash line is st so robot has to circum navigate this object like this he move around this object like this he will go moving correct okay like the same thing here shown in the b part robot start moving then third here and in this way correct able to see yes sir and when he start moving now until what situation he has to move until what situation he has to move robot has to move until it encounter the straight line until it find the until the robot straight will line. find the straight line so when the object will get when the when it is circum when it is go on navigating this object or obstacle then definitely at certain point definitely he is he is going to find the particular uh, straight line so like this okay he go on moving and for example at this point he find that straight line so the same thing i have the robot travel all the way to around the obstacle until it get to a point on the obstacle on the line st from which it will be possible to leave the obstacle in the way for target t which is closer to 2 as compared with the point p at which it will go on traveling by avoiding the obstacle okay so robot after he encounter the straight line robot will not so will the robot circum navigate the whole obstacle like this yes is there any need to do this no no so whenever because already he has made the one straight line he has already made the straight line and when he find the straight line so again his journey will start from this point like this okay like this you can see in the next part i have shown so his journey will start again he find the obstacle here correct yes, yes sir so again he go on circum navigating the object okay and when you find again the straight line then you can see here it reaches to the goal position but what if what if he never find the straight line yes sometime it might it can be happen yes or no yes so in that case the it indicates the path is not exist okay and in that case robot will have to return back to the previous point p from where he has find the obstacle so in this way you can see the same thing we have shown here like this and robot goes on to the target position okay so uh, you can see the uh, same uh, the discussion that we have done here same you can uh, put it in the algorithmic way okay and that you can see here uh, visualize the visualize the direct path st okay from the starting point s to the end t okay and you can see while the goal t while the goal so these uh, things will continue until the while goal t is not achieved okay so begin while the path st to the goal is not obstructed do begin move towards the path along the path st first situation kay ki tumcha path madhe kutlay prakarcha obstacle nasel tar kay hoil mag robot will go directly from this point to this point yes or no yes sir the same thing mentioned while the path st to the goal is not obstructed do begin the move towards the robot will move towards the goal along the path st but if the path is obstructed second case if the path is obstructed then begin mark the current location as a p circum navigate the object until the robot circum navigate the object until what until this two situation circum navigate the object until 
until the robot hit the line st at a point closer to t than p and can move towards the t in which case the robot follow the st okay circumnavigate the object until he reaches to the straight line yes uh, straight line st second case return to the p where in which case the t is unreachable so if he don't find the straight line he has to what it means the this particular target is unreachable so in that case you have to again come back to its initial point p okay and end so simple algorithm is there okay understood yes sir so this is the uh, bug to algorithm in case of the path planning for the robot like that there are the also other algorithms are there for but it is a sufficient for our study to uh, have just one algorithm regarding the path planning for the robot so in this way the robot does the path planning and it can reach to the target or the uh, goal position okay so that's it from the today's session next part we will continue in the next lecture okay okay so the uh, pandav sir has put one notice the three students okay manjre rohini more and naikode urgently they should uh, send your passport size photo to pandav sir i hope all of you got that message yes, yes sir yes sir ha urgently yes, send kar de theek hai okay yes. thank you all of you thank you sir